Hi, this is Mr. Gamble. It's Monday the 8th of January and today we're going to be having a look at a race, uh, the 5.45 at Wolves and the horse we're interested in is Azam. Now, as crazy as it sounds, this horse has been on our radar since November 2016, back when he was with John Gosden. Um, he absolutely annihilated some really good horses that day, uh, some that have gone on to be rated over 100. Um, and he looked like he, that was over 10 furlongs, and he really looked like uh, any kind of step up in trip was uh, going to be good news. Now, it's probably not coincidental that that was the first time that they put the cheek pieces on the horse too. Uh, he's changed trainers since then. Uh, he's now with Michael Appleby. Um, he's been gelded. Um, and I think today should be the day, but they do need to ride him a certain way, of which I'm sure they'll know. Um, he's an out-and-out -out galloper. Um, he doesn't really have um, a turn of foot. Um, and that is probably the only chink in his armour. Um, so they're going to need to go to the front um, with a fair way to go. Now you're looking at uh, some really good trainer and jockey stats here. Um, if you scroll down and you look at the SP1, you can see that Michael Mappleby and uh, Luke Morris together are eight winners from 18 runners between even money and five to two. Um, but they're also two winners from four runners at odds on. Um, so you're basically looking at, uh, at some pretty um, incredible stats there of 10 winners from 22 runners when they are riding on the all-weather in handicaps and the odds are 5 to 2 or less. Now if we go back to the other page, um, Luke Morris is a really good jockey for this horse today as well because he's used to riding similar types of horses for Sir Mark Prescott um, and he wins a lot of races for Sir Mark Prescott on these kinds of horses. Um, he doesn't need to make all um, but he probably does want to track the leaders um, and they do want to be sending him to the front probably about three furlongs from home um, and hopefully that's the race plan that they've got in mind. Um, he, If they do then he can simply uh, gallop it off into the distance and uh, basically nothing will catch him. If he waits till the last furlong for a change of pace or to pick things up um, then there could be trouble. Um, so uh, the, having the cheek pieces have been left off uh, for all his runs by his new trainer um, since he, he moved stables um, but the cheek pieces are back on today um, he's available at five to two with a lot of bookies at this point in time and always remember there's no certainties um, but if this race is ridden the way that they should ride it and I'm very confident that they will um, then Azam